sunny, not a cloud in the sky. I have three classes today. First class with a reactive dog, and then I've got a, a pit bull, and then two Rottweilers at five o'clock. Try and do as much filming as I can today. Hope you all have an excellent Monday morning. Monday is the best day. This reactive dog, Ollie. We're down in the Paseo here. Very nice day. Loads of dogs around. Let's do this. in how the dog does by himself if you like. I'm more interested in how he does with, with a handler that knows how to handle this kind of dog. Uh, because by himself he's making bad choices. Uh, right now we can't expect this dog, this dog to make good choices in the state of mind that he's in. But the one where you turn into him, obviously it's that spatial pressure stuff that we want him to get used to. So he's not trying to bite your leg. <laughs> now and taking my guys out for a walk. Luna, yeah, Ozzy as well. So my three, I'll probably go for about four, minimum of four pack walks a day. And if I was really busy, it would just be three. In about an hour, I've got this pit. It's kind of a hot day. I take my guys back now, have a bit of a break and head off to this. this class. <laughs> First session with Saf, Safi, who's a pit bull, and the two Rottweilers. Awesome. Good. Luna, and we're just taking a little bit of a walk down to the beach here. I'm just ending off this day. It's a really nice day with a little walk down to the beach heel. I wanted to explain to you guys e collars and like the e collars that I use. The e collars that I use. Um, they work at very, very, very low levels. So we're talking about really, really modern technology. We're not talking about shock collars. Shock collars are something that have been around for a very, very long time, and obviously, like technology was limited at one point. And we're not talking about the kind of technology that I'm talking about. The kind of technology that's like in this camera, in your phone, in your computer. Now, this is the kind of technology we're talking about. They work at such low levels. I've got my girl on the remote collar right now. Feel good. And I just use it to, to, to reinforce the heel there. Whenever she gets over distracted on something, I need to get her attention on me. I take her off leash in the campo. I, I use it whenever, whenever I have a friend come around to my house. I put the e-collar on my dog so that I know I'm gonna have absolutely maximum control. But I've got some friends that have had bad experiences with dogs here in Spain. And you know, they're wary of dogs, especially big dogs like, like my, my girl over here. So anything I can do to have more control of the situation, have a better relationship with my dog and do cooler stuff, like I say, going to the campo or taking her for nice walks or, you know, she's got high prey drive, so if she sees a cat, it's like game is on, you know? Um, but with this, I can communicate with her really easily. Okay, I just missed a really good opportunity where I could have shown you guys how I redirect her off the cats using the e-collar, um, but I had the camera in my pocket because she went to the toilet first, and then we had the cat show up. So we're just down here at the beach right now. I actually was planning on going to my bear, but um, we ended up not doing that. And plus I have a cancellation tomorrow morning. So I think 
what we're gonna do is tomorrow morning I'm gonna wake up early and we're gonna go to my bear and we're gonna walk around the old town and we might even have some breakfast in my bear. But really guys, I just wanted to kind of like talk to you, explain to you a little bit about the e-collars. The e-collars, these are this is modern technology, not old school um, electric shock collar or anything like that. I use it at low levels where the dog can just feel it. Let her go off leash, let her have her freedom. That's what I wanted to have, you know, I wanted to have all the freedom in the world. Um, but I need her to be safe and I need to be able to get her back and I, I need to be safe as well. So it's all about, it's all about that stuff. So I always, I use the e-collars at low levels, condition the dogs at low levels. I've spoken to you guys about this before. It's about recall, it's about having your dog off leash, reliable. Do the cup. Cup. Here. That's it. Good girl. Very nice. Okay, break. Whenever I say break, then she can go off again. I always call my dog to me, she has to wait around, and then I say break, and then she can go off again. So really, guys, it's that. This is Mini Educator e-collar Technologies. Uh, works at super super low levels. Okay guys, some people just have like the wrong idea about these e-collars and it's just not the case. I was one of the people as well, I had my own ideas about them. Um, but that's a story for another day. Alright guys, tune in for tomorrow where we're going to go down to Marbella, we're going to check Marbella out. And I'm going to end this vlog now. Hope you had an excellent Monday, like I had a good Monday. And saying goodbye now to you, see you later. And my girls now Luna, say goodbye. You gonna say goodbye? No, she's not gonna say goodbye. <laughs> See you later, guys.